Toledo is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Bryce's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 24. Heading for the corner. He's to the 40. Across midfield. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. And he's taken down the 42-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. He tackles him for a loss. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. End zone touchdown. the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. He's into the open field. He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He scores. What a play. to play by the defender. That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Rice to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Two times, two times. That makes it second and eight. Check, check. That's 
a great tackle at the 34. Look out. That is just sound fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. That'll move the Giants for another Toledo. First down. Check, check. H. Bruin. H. Bruin. Steps out of bounds around the 42 yard line. A close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's hit and taken down. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. They'll bring him down around the 50-yard line. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Second and 14. Ball on the 50-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Hey, you're not quick enough. It's the ninth play of the drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw. He's taken down to 39-yard line. So it was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance, and it's good. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 14-3, right. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 49. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. He fights forward to about the 49. Bring him down in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. In the shotgun and five wide out. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. 
Little too much leg into that front. They'll bring it out to the 20. Rice has got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He's got it with room to run. Brought down around the 36-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. They'll drop him for a loss. Call it a loss of five yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now, and 14 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Mike 57, Mike 57. Go! He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. No on the play. Third down. And we've reached the end of one. Rice is in front by 11. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. We've got tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Watch two, watch two. Set. Three, three, three. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Successful offenses always get the ball into their playmakers' hands however they can. The screen play is certainly one of those ways to accomplish that. He makes his way out to about the 35. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And down he goes at the 31. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That makes it second and six. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. That'll bring up third and inches. Hey, Jack! Hey, Boston! Hey, Boston! Tackle for a loss. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up and he nails the long field goal. Toledo to kick. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Rice holds an eight-point advantage. Orange three. Has some daylight. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. Stop behind the line. Tackle made at the 32 yard line. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. 
The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback, and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. And he's level at the 37. it to the 24. Him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is the eighth play of this drive. Well, they dug a bit of a hole for themselves and were forced into a low percentage pass play here on third down. But the good news is they still have a shot at some points. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is away, it's long enough, and he got it! And he's gotta be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 14-9, Rice. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Owls, over the years, have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop at the 41. Gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 45. And a quick throw. He's tackled right around the 40. That'll make it second and four. And he's tackled at about the 31. Gain of nine on the play. First down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Reach out. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion. Here we go, here we go. Motion, motion. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The Owls use their second timeout. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. He scrambled. 
the 10. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That's good for a game of 17 yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Owls. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he converts the extra point. Rice is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. They come out in a five-wide set. Out of bounds around the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. An incredible series for the defense, and they get him out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. From the 15, he gets out to about the 28-yard line. Rice has done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Harvey. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. They go to the ground game. Makes it out to about the 36. That's a game on the play. That makes it second and two. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He has some room. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 46. That makes it first and 10. He's under some heat. Going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From the 46-yard line, second down. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 21-9, to nine, Rice. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally, That was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man-to-man -man and giving up big plays. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you're doing 
don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Set. Oh, alert, alert. Alert. Lion, lion. Motion, motion, motion. That's a great tackle at the 40. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Gets him open field. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. it to the 22-yard line. Call the game three yards. That'll make it second to seven. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Bring him down for a sack on the play. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Toledo gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Hand off to the left. Knocked out of bounds at the 41 yard line. to it and gets a good That's five yards. That'll make it second and four. They'll drop it for a loss. 
I like how the defense got all up into that option and disrupted. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Third down now. They need to get it to the 29. to his receiver, first down. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. 34 is the mic, 34 is the mic. He's coming. Slings it. He's pushed out of bounds around the 18-yard line. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. around the 20-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And down he goes at the 14 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. First down. Check, check. Get down. Look. He breaks it. Touchdown, Rice. So the offense is going to go for two. He's scrambling. And they won't get the two. Rice lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Rice's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires out to his wideout. Breaks one. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. tell you to go for the pick. You've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That brings us fourth and seven. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That's good for him. That makes it first and 10. 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. Here's an opening. And he's leveled at the 34. First down. He has some room. Makes it out to about the 19. First down. Gets to about the 17 yard line. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That's a game of eight. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He gets out to about the six-yard line. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. Rice's lead is 12. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Get him for a loss. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, the defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Throws it away. Man left, man left. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled right around the 36 yard line. From their own 33 yard line. Second down. Alert, alert. Bruin, Bruin. And they make the stop at the 40 yard line. That's a game of seven. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He scrambled. Decides to slide.
Wants to throw outside. And he's got it. Nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is make a nice short tackle on the ball carrier. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's taken down right around the 12 yard line. Seven yard line. The halfback loses about one on the option. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it third and seven. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's tackled at the four. That's a team of four on one ball. That'll make it fourth and two. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Oklahoma! Rose Middle, here's the tight end. Touchdown! They had a mismatch and exploited it for the score. Yep, you're right. The tight end had that one all the way, and there wasn't much the defense could do. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Caught it, and the conversion is good. the 45. I wonder if they might have just clenched it. If they could be careful with the ball, they could be able to run out the clock. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two to go in the game. He's got the corner. He makes his way to about the 32. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. Toledo's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They give to the tailback. Makes his way out to about the 15. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 14. Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Three down, 74. Gives it up the gut. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a team of five on the play. That'll bring up 34. Man left, man left. Positive yardage. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. 
the Owls know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.